What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Outdoors with Craig DZ. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Mother's Day or early Mother's Day for all you mothers out there. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. Um, been a busy April and continuing to be a busy May. So stay tuned for our monthly update. So there's my rig, currently <clears throat> empty. Dump trailer's down there, it's full. <clears throat> and then, can I give you a 360 here? Hopefully you don't get dizzy. <laughs> um, just finished up smoking some steaks, delicious. Um, but we won't talk about that. So here, kind of the big news, which I talked about in the last video, is the my new road. Um, really, for the month of April, <clears throat> for an update, um, as I talked in the last kind of the year update, right? Just growing pains and really running out of room. Uh, time is an issue. Um, so today I got stone in yesterday. I moved it all today <clears throat> and put it down roughly. It's not done. I'm going to actually kind of clean up this edge and I actually have to get another load. So the tractor and the burn pit back there, I can kind of flatten that out and put stone down. And that's eventually going to be the home of my dumpsters um, right now especially with fuel prices right to 650 a gallon up here in upstate new york it is um, a lot of wasted fuel having to transport some and store some over at my parents location which is about 15 minutes from me i think it's like seven or eight miles um, but back and forth you know it's like a 30 minute process and then besides wasting time you know, probably talking, you know, six, ten dollars in fuel. Um, but so now the idea, as you can kind of see now that there's no dumpsters here, other than my my grill, um, can drive basically straight through, um, down the hill, turn, and then once that burn pot pile is gone, hopefully next weekend or, or two weeks when the burn man lifts, I'll burn that and be able to just spin around down there and drop the cans or a april update so i switched over started actually using um kind of mid mid april beginning of april uh the drs uh dumpster rental systems uh, i've had decent luck with it if if you are looking um specifically for me the reason i went with that over docket and square um is just the online booking and, and rental system. Square is a great payment system if you're looking for something to offer <clears throat> credit cards. I mean, it's handy. You can have the app on your phone and run cards. Um, if that's all you're looking for, they're great. Um, the more you use it, eventually, like now, I can I could technically take a loan out, and they offer all kinds of different features like that. That once you actually have kind of a steady flow of income coming in. They'll uh, let you borrow money and, and things like that, line of credit almost, if, if you want. Um, I didn't utilize it, but DRS, um, so far, good. I've had, I mean, just today, looking at, um, while I was out doing some deliveries, somebody booked for, for next week. Um, I've had probably, I'd say six or seven online bookings, which is nice. Um, you know, you just check your email and it's like, oh crap, like somebody booked for next week. And not only that, but with... The DRS system, big advantage, uh, one of the big advantages, I'm sure Docket has a feature like that too, um, is the online contract. So I just basically upload it and edited my con contract, put it on there. And so now like when somebody rents online or I use the system and send them an invoice, they get the invoice and then they have to sign the contract. So that's all digital and it all happens before I even get there. So. Um, before like last year i did knock on wood didn't have a you know issue run into any problems with that but <clears throat> i mean in my contract it states you know we're not responsible for damages to your driveway um to the site you know un unforeseen you know if you have a you know weak driveway or something we drive over it and it you know crumbles apart um it's not our problem not our fault um like stuff like that that's in there um, just to kind of protect the business and but the problem is a few times right like you'll go to drop something off and nobody's home right and they're like oh yeah I'm not gonna be home just leave it there so you don't get the signature where this you get it online the other nice thing is 
with their system i was doing a 50 dollars deposit before now if they book online it's all paid up front so like the woman that booked the other day or today i think it was a three-day rental for a 15 yard so it was like 400 bucks uh, with tax and all um instant you know probably or if it's not in my bank account it, by monday it probably will so already i'll have that money ahead of time so when you start getting you know six seven ten rentals uh you know a week you're getting a lot of that money ahead of time and you can kind of use it to to pay your expenses ahead of time um but that was one nice feature last month that we ran into i didn't look before this video the actual numbers but for the month of April, I know last time I checked in the beginning of May, um, I want to say revenue, like in, like gr gross, you know, income was around seven or eight thousand dollars I did in sales. So <clears throat> going back to last year, you know, the month of May, I mean, I only had one dump trailer for our April, May. I think June was when I got the second one. So, I, you know, I think. 20, 28 rentals, 24 rentals, something like that is, is what I did for April, which is pretty good. Um, I've been booked solid, you know, today, like I just showed you. So I have the dump trailer back, dump is closed, the one that I use on Saturday. So I can't dump them Saturday or Sunday. So that was a rental for Friday. Where it was, I just basically, the guy filled it anyways, but um, I couldn't really get it in a good spot. So it was an alleyway. And so I just told them I wasn't gonna leave it overnight, um, especially being the dump trailer. If it was a dumpster, I probably wouldn't care as much. Worst case, like it maybe got some graffiti on it or something. But with that, I mean, somebody could just smash the the lock off and then, you know, try and steal it or something silly like that. So I just told them I wouldn't leave it overnight. <clears throat> so I picked that up Friday evening. Um, but yeah, business uh, overall, hopefully if, if you're in the business, you're you're doing as good as I am because it, I can't complain. I mean, fuel prices are up. I've adjusted and I raised my prices last week to kind of compensate for that. I didn't really raise them the first time. So upstate New York, right? So our fuel prices were about $5 for, I would say, I don't know, a, probably two weeks, three weeks. It was pretty $5, like $4.99, $5.19, $5.09, like for like three, three four weeks. Um, <clears throat> and then this past week, just shot right up it went uh and, and again so i have if i flip the camera i do have my diesel tank here i do have my diesel tank here i'm actually going to move that now that i'm putting the road into probably behind the shed over here but that tank i called now it's probably two and a half weeks ago but i called and it was 490 a gallon and i was like well you know me being trying to be cheap it's like well at 490 a gallon i could get it at 499 at the pump so i'm really only saving 10 cents you know convenience all that stuff is great but i was like eh, let me wait a week or two the prices you know were kind of at least what i saw you know price of oil per barrel and everything was steadying out and so i'm like all right well if the price drops um you know another 10 15 cents like i don't want to be stuck at 490 and then i could get it at the pump for say 480 so my gamble um, screwed me because <clears throat> not that that would have lasted me for months, but you know, 275 gallons, I probably would have got 250, 225. Um, would have lasted me a good month. Um, so I would have been saving, you know, dollar sixty a gallon at this point. For the first um, kind of prices went from like four something. To like that five dollar when the ukraine stuff kicked off i didn't really raise prices my dump fees went up a couple bucks and i just said you know what i'll just eat the cost um you know it's just a couple bucks and realistically my service area is 20 miles so in theory max you know i'm going 20 miles there back 40 miles you know 80 round trip <clears throat> at 10 say 10 or 10 gallons uh, 10 miles per gallon for fuel um you know that could be eight gallons of fuel so like you know 20 30 cents a gallon you're, you know you're talking a few bucks really is what it would cost me difference now um now is a little different right so like a dollar 50 more a gallon you know 10 10 gallons you're talking 15 bucks difference um or more 20 so i raised 20 my price is 25 bucks across the board and <clears throat> 
nobody has complained haven't had any issues with it so that's been good the other thing um, I've thought of doing because for the month of April um, and it's still continuing right now is the trend that I'm seeing is you know most people want it Friday Saturday Sunday which is great however for me right so I do this on the side uh, I do it I can only go to the dump one time and that's before work um, so my problem would be like now I have you know that full one sitting there I have another 15 yard that I picked up today that's full from a roofer from this weekend he actually again if you get into roofing just be careful because this guy it was a double layer roof and he called me he was newer at roofing so I told him I'm like yeah no like it's like you're gonna need another dumpster like it went from being like maybe four tons to now eight nine tons and I'm like there's no way physically you probably could fit it all in that one 15 yarder and if you did um i wouldn't be moving it right at eight or nine tons it's way way over <clears throat> and this customer is like 45 minutes away so it's not a short drive so it wouldn't be something i'd be like hey eh, i'll see if i can tow it um but so i have that one back already so there's two and then i pick one up tomorrow morning and then i'll pick one up tomorrow after or afternoon evening so Come Monday morning, I have four full dumpsters. Um, I have a rental Monday, so they're actually taking that dump trailer. So you can see my problem, right? It's like every day I'm stuck going to the dump, dumping, and then flipping the cans, which is great. However, I feel like at, I'm at the point now, I have two more dumpsters on order. Um, so I'm at the point with five dumpsters that realistically I'd like, um, the customers to keep them longer right instead of just two day rentals if they could do three four five day rentals it would just give me a little bit of buffer so that a i don't have four full cans sitting around right like i can kind of pick and choose pick this one up dump that one monday pick one up monday bring it back here dump that one tuesday you know and have a little bit of buffer instead of having four or five cans full sitting here either at my property or my family's property so that's something i've been thinking about of kind of expanding rental times from um just getting rid of the like two three four or i think i do two yeah two three five and seven and just making it flat up to seven right so you know maybe raise prices again maybe 25 bucks 30 bucks and then just let them it's like hey if you only want it for a day it's 350 bucks if you want it for the week it's 350 bucks like and that way i just know from experience if you're willing to give somebody let them keep it for a day extra for free they'll do it as soon as you tell them oh it's 20 bucks or 25 bucks or whatever your charge is they're like ah yeah no i'm done with it um they're you know seems like they're that cheap um some people aren't that way you know it's like well how much for an extra you know from three days to five days and they're like ah eh, for them you know 50 bucks or 25 bucks it's worth it for them to have it an extra two days and not have to worry about getting everything done on the weekend um but that's something kind of i've been playing around with in my head um other than that i mean everything is is going good it's just uh you know right now really busy i picked up a couple one steady roofer that rents you know once once a week from me um so that only leads you know really four cans to rent out and i've been filling them fairly easy between my facebook ads um and just word of mouth and, and people kind of searching now that my name has been out there for a little bit and um, people have seen the cans the the can design again getting a lot of attention i think i've gotten two or three phone calls while i've been driving them <clears throat> around you know somebody's hey you know i saw one of your dumpsters or i'm i'm behind your dumpster you know looks really clean you know blah 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 and and so that again and i told somebody um customer that i dropped dropped it off for their their roofer they were talking to me about it and that's what i mean granted my cans are new now right new trailer and all but my goal you know dumpster business in general is is a dirty business but i feel like from a customer service and a business standpoint nobody puts that extra effort in to maintain and keep their equipment clean some people do but around me not many people right so like you get this rusty paint peeled off dumpster sitting in your driveway it looks like crap um 
where I'm trying to, you know, wash them out like once every week or two or, or when they, you know, need it, when they get dirty. Um, paint, I already have some, I haven't tried it yet, like touch up spray paint and stuff to like, as a, I see rust spots or anything gets stained, I can spray over it and, and try and keep them as clean as possible. Um, and that's just for me in general, um, like boards, um, let me flip this around for the boards, you know, here, <clears throat> that I still have to cut, you know, four by four, but I started out with plywood. Um, it works, however, on grass, um, like yards, that's, uh, I think three eighths and it's just a little too thin with the weight. Like I, I broke one, like the wheel went right through and cracked it. Um, but underneath are two by tens. That's kind of what I'm going for. And eventually this month I'm going to mount, um, some type of setup on the side here of the trailer to kind of store at least one set of boards on there. The, the four by fours, I cut them in like two foot lengths and I have a bunch in the back of my truck and it just makes it easier. You know, they're up that extra three, four inches to get, you know, and load on your trailer. For me, it <clears throat> takes a little less strain off of your, your winch. Um, as far as trailer, truck, everything has been going great. Knock on wood, haven't had any issues with either of them since I got the trailer back um, and they replaced the axles from the first you know week I had it. Um, dump trailer, same thing, no issues there. And uh, yeah, so things, things are, are really looking up, doing good. Like I said, my biggest thing is just time and uh, you know, space. I just don't have enough space. So hopefully by the end of May, the space issue, at least temporarily, will be solved. Another issue, the space issue should, should be solved by the end of May. Overall, month of April, I mean, just ballpark figures. Like I said, I think I did like 28 rentals or 24 rentals, something somewhere in between those numbers. And, you know, net profit after that, I think was somewhere in the ballpark of about $4,000. So, <clears throat> again, if you're looking to do this as a side hustle, I mean, I know a lot of people that don't bring home 4,000 in a month normally after taxes and all. So to do that on the side, um, you know, is, pr is pretty good in my mind. You know, most weeks have basically been, if I can get all five cans rented out once during the week, it's, it's about a thousand dollar week, um, give or take, you know, depends on fuel and distance and, you know, obviously lighter loads help that number. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been very well very good so far um so hopefully that run will kind of continue into may last year june was a very slow month for me so i'll be curious to see kind of how it plays out this year especially now that i've you know definitely increased my branding and advertising and using all kinds of methods the other thing i haven't done yet i still have those yard signs that i haven't put up i'm just a little nervous about putting them up that it may draw um too much attention or unwanted attention because in theory you don't own the uh you know the poles so it could could you know get a complaint or fine or something so i'm worried about that um so we will see but uh appreciate everybody tuning in uh again happy mother's day or early mother's day uh for you mothers tomorrow and I uh, hope you enjoyed the content. Again, if you have any questions, comments, post them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.